everyone, welcome back to the Cook West USA channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through my nails as we fix them from this to this. If you want to know how I did this, make sure to watch the rest of the video. So this is currently the state of my nails right now. Uh, I only filed off the color, as you can see this is a hot mess. I have a broken nail right here and then I spilled chili oil on myself right before we started filming so um, we have some jellips on some of the nails some of the nails we don't. I'm just gonna you know give these nails a little bit of a refresh and take you through that process with me. Um, first of all I'm gonna take my moon green 150. I filed off most of the color on my nail, but I want to get rid of the jellips because I'm going to be shortening them anyways. So I'm just going to take this one. It's a pretty rough grit and I'm just going to go ahead and start taking that off. Obviously you can do this step with an e-file, but I'm showing you this to show you that you can do it even without having all of that. And if you're someone who's scared of that e-file, this is also a good option. But you shouldn't be scared. Don't be scared. And the reason why I have this paper towel is so that we don't get dust everywhere. We can clean up easier. As you can see, once I file off, it that gel thins out and just pops right off eventually. And I'm left with whatever was on my natural nail, plus a little bit of gel, but I'm just gonna thin that down so that I have a nice base to work with. And then we're gonna fix this too. We're gonna get rid of all that because that we're missing a whole chunk of nail there. So I'm just gonna file that one down so we have a nice short nail. Now that I thin them down to my natural nail but I don't want it I don't want to hit the nail plate or else I'm gonna damage it so this is as close as I could get to my foundation layer since so we're gonna be doing a fill in I'm gonna go ahead and I'll shape these rough looking nails and we're all gonna do them pretty short as you can see I had to cut this one because she was just not having it I'm gonna take my emery board right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and shape my nails with this I'm going for a rounded shape here. This is how they look right now. Woo! So now I'm going to go through with my sponge buffer and I'm just going to go ahead and smooth out the roughness to my nails. Okay, and I'm just gonna take that excess dust off. We are almost finished with prep. That's how they look now after they've been buffed. But my cuticles, a whole different story. My cuticles look atrocious. To get rid of that excess cuticle, I'm just going to go in with a stone pusher. We're going to use this to get rid of any excess cuticle left on my nail. Sorry time. Um, so I literally almost got robbed. I was at the Walmart and they were like, that's going to be a 50 $50 and I was like, uh-uh, no, I saw this on the store for like $30. Like, why are you trying to take my money? And that is the story of how I almost got robbed. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just going through and getting rid of any cuticle that may be on my nail. So that way we can have a smooth application without any lips. I'm just going in circular motions to get rid of that cuticle. Once I got rid of that cuticle with that cuticle stone pusher, you can see all that leftover dust. So we're gonna make sure to get rid of that 
with 90% alcohol and a wipe. You can also do this with a nail brush, but I only have the wipes here with me today, so I'm gonna do it with the wipes. And this step is also gonna help to make sure that you get rid of any excess oils or anything you have left so that it's nice and prepped for when we put on our face gel. Just make sure to wipe down each one of your nails so that all that dirt and oil is gone and nothing is left over after I have thoroughly prepped and wipe down each nail with 90% alcohol. I'm going through with the Nail Thoughts Clear Builder Base, my tried and true favorite base, personal favorite base. Um, and then I'm just gonna go through and apply that to all of my nails, building a little bit of an apex. First, I'm going to go in with a thin layer. One nail done. We're just going to go through and do the rest to the rest of our nails. This is what it looks like after I've applied the base to all of my nails. And we are ready to move on to color. I'm going to be using this or newest color the khaki oats glass on my fingers it is a beautiful sheer glassy khaki color um, it's a little bit of like a shrek ogre green i would say but it's one of my favorites of the new collection so go ahead and apply that with our nail thoughts application brush we're just going to dip it in get a little bit that is what the first layer looks like for that one and I think I'm gonna go in with a second layer just to increase the opacity a little bit and that is a second layer of that color Right there. I think I want a little bit of fun, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my magnetic gel. So just using this beautiful green color, I think that's gonna look really beautiful with this khaki green that we already have on. This is our newest dragon's eye. I know we've done magnetic gel a couple times on this channel already, but I mean this is going to be a real stunner and I had to, I just had to use it, but honestly, I think velvet nails are trending this season, so this would be great for that. Now that I apply the magnet gel, I'm just going to go ahead with my magnet. I like to use the round side. There's two sides to this magnet. The round side is a little bit easier to handle so you don't over magnetize things. And then you're just going to go ahead and activate those particles. And there is that. We're just going to go ahead and cure this once we're satisfied with how the magnet looks. And if you don't like how the magnet looks, you can always brush to start over again. And that is what that looks like. And it's made this beautiful green color. I think it's a really unique green color. The last step is to put on our top coat and here is my top coat. This one's a mini bottle, the one we use for demos and stuff. It's only 7 milliliters. Seven milliliters. You're going to need way more than that usually but this is what I have so I'm just going to use that. Put top coat on and we are all finished and good to go. I'm just curing it in my light now for the top coat. I usually like to give it a full cure at the very end just to make sure that everything is fully fully cured and since the ultra glossy since the ultra glossy is a non-wipe top coat it's not going to matter how long you cure it you're never going to over cure it so that's why I like to leave it in just a little bit longer for that last layer just to make sure that everything is fully 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 cured 
we are done with curing everything. I'm just gonna give everything a nice finish, finishing file with my emery board, just to make sure those edges are nice and clean. And this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching this channel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below anything you want to see on the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Matane! Bye bye!